All right, Shalom, Shalom, it's the brother Yahweh Shapat coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach me who are the new scriptures. And peace, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. <clears throat> to you, brothers, that's on the highways and the byways, pushing his word out in truth and sincerity, risking your lives and your freedom to do so now, so more than ever, you are say Shalom. Know to you brothers and sisters who are out there listening and learning, Shalom and you are. I'm uh out and about just kind of getting a couple things, man, and you know, I see chariots, man. You know, like at least maybe like two or three of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh it just spirit got on me, prompted me to do this lesson. You know, the angels are always around us, man for our protection you know and some brothers you know we see them more than often man you know i've always me personally seen chariots man during the day and in the nighttime <clears throat> and at first i didn't know what they were you know and uh i didn't know what they were till i came to this truth actually so with that being said i never knew that hey they were around they always around for my protection you know, you know, the angels of the Lord, man, hey, they here as a reminder that the men of the Lord are always being protected. You know what I'm saying? They here as a reminder also that, hey, the Heavenly Father's judgment ain't a far off. When you seeing chariots like we seeing them at a high volume, man, hey, you know, that means they getting ready to really visit this earth. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shai is getting ready to really visit this earth, man. You know, so I'm going to get this scripture right here, though. This is Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. You know, um, like I said, whether brothers can see him or not, the angels of the Lord are always uh, encamped round about them that fear him. You know, so, hey man, brothers, you know, we, we protect it, man, at all times. You know, it'll be like, uh, I'll be sitting down, chilling or whatever, and uh, I go outside to go get some or run to the store or whatever it may be, and I see the chariots leaving with me, literally, man. So, you know, that just kind of give me hope it gave me faith and it put the fear of the Lord on me too because it's like, man, you not never, you can never hide from Yahweh by some Yahweh Shai. You can't hide from the angels. They're, those are the eyes of the Lord. You know, so whether certain men, you might, you know, you got certain guys that they act a, way, a certain way around certain brothers or when they around the brothers, you know, when they by themselves, they moving like a nigga, you know, or when they around other people. Well, man, the angels of the Lord see everything, man. You know, I believe it's a scripture that says uh, that that have wings will tell the matter. You know, everything we doing, man, the angels is reporting it back to the Lord. You know, everything, man, and they can see. You can't hide from them in your house, you know. You can't hide, you know what I'm saying? The angels can see through your house, man. But that being said, man, uh, you know, they also here for another reason. I'm going to get that. Man, they getting ready to help Yahweh Shai completely fucking level this place, bro. And you're going to have uh, Edomites being destroyed by the, by the angels. You're going to have the angels also shooting fire on this place, you know, before the nuclear missiles actually do all the damage that they're set out to do, you know. But hey, man, this place is, um, not only are the angels watching everything that the elect are doing, you know, they watching everything, period, man. So that means that they seeing day in and day out how wicked and more wicked this place grows, minute by minute. They taking that report to, the, to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So eventually, man, hey, the Lord gonna uh, just send Yahweh Shai. Nobody knows when he's coming. Not even he knows. 
You know, and that's that's your Howard having your Howard shot operate like a thief in the night. You know, a thief don't tell you, I'm coming right now. I'm 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 coming to break in your house. Nah, man. So it's gonna be uh sudden. Your Howard shot's return is gonna be sudden, and and you know not looked for by many. But you know that 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 day is approaching faster and faster, man. But anyway, you know. Me seeing a chariot like that, it just let me know, man, hey, the Lord always got an eye on me. You know what I'm saying? He got them looking over me for protect for, to protect me, but also everything I'm doing, man, is being reported back to you how when you how was shot by them by those angels, man. And like I say, I can my bullshit you not, man. I walk outside and it's like they knew I they know I'm when I'm getting ready to leave, they leave. You know, I usually when I leave the house, I be in the same area. So, man, I, they they go with me to the store. And <laughs> when I come out the store, they be, uh, you know, accompanying me on my way back home. So this is definitely a faith booster for any brother that hears this lesson. Hey, it's a faith booster for me. You know what I'm saying? You know, but uh, I believe I'm looking for Second Chronicles 16 and 9. Yep. This is 2 Chronicles 16 and 9. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to shew himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. And if your heart is perfect toward the Lord, you're going to fear the Lord, man. That's who this scripture is talking about. It's talking about the the uh, the elect. So those angels, go, uh, they run to and fro throughout the whole earth to shew himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore from henceforth thou shalt, Salaki, thou shalt have wars. Now what that's saying is that the angels are the, are the eyes of the Lord and they run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show, uh, you know, to, to show the Lord's strength, you know? And hey man, and here in Indiana, you just, every other day they reporting about a UFO sighting. You know, I see certain chariots, but it's different kinds of chariots, man. And I can testify to that because one day, you know, I was coming back up here from uh, from uh, uh, from like uh, Tennessee, and uh, I think I'm in Columbus, Ohio. You know, I'm outside downtown area, just kind of chilling. And man, I seen a chariot. Like I say, I see these certain kinds of chariots. It'll be a chariot that look kind of like a plane, but it don't look like a plane. It'll be a chariot that looks like a flying roll, you know? Like I believe uh, Ezekiel described, but the point being, you know, when I was in Columbus, Ohio, man, I seen a, a whole nother chariot that I'd never seen before. It was, it was colorful, you know, and it appeared at night. But they, that just goes to show you, man, you know, some of the chariots I see when I see these Edomites reporting them, it be whole different other looking chariots, man. But that just goes back to the scripture <clears throat> in, uh, in Psalms, the 68th chapter, where it describes how, you know, the, the, the Lord has all types of different chariots, man. This is Psalm 68 and 17. The chariots of Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. Hey, Yahweh Shah is gonna come back with those thousands of angels, man, to destroy this place. You know, and, and you know, I'm gonna make this make this real quick. I'm gonna shorten it up. But uh, uh, what was I getting at to say? Yeah, so you know, right now, man, Esau's got. There's a lot of wickedness going on in high places. You know, you have transgenders in the president's cabinet. You have a woman right now, literally, that is acting as president while uh, Joe Biden is doing his uh, routine colonoscopy or whatever, whatever the hell they were saying. Uh, you know, so, hey, this place is getting more and more wicked, man. If you know the scriptures, you know that the Heavenly Father wouldn't be okay with, with this because... You know, the scriptures tell you that a woman is not supposed to usurp authority over a man. You know, so, hey, 
you know, this 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 place is getting more and more wicked. You know, they constantly pushing um the chip on children. They pushing uh this homosexuality agenda very, very hardcore. You know, um they pushing uh East e Esau's wicked juice. You know, hey man, and it's a lot of other things that I could name that's going on. Hey, that the Heavenly Father is pissed about. You know, and this place is gonna it's gonna lead to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Why Yahweh Shai destroying this place as he did Sodom and Gomorrah by thermonuclear fire. And like I said, the chariots are gonna come with fire too. You know, scriptures say that, man, in Isaiah. You know, I believe that's matter of fact. <clears throat> get this right quick as well. I believe that's Isaiah 66 and 15. And it says, yeah, come. Talking about Yahweh Shai. This is Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, he, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. So Yahweh Shai and the holy angels are coming back to kill, man. You know? You know? And hey, man, they're here. For the angels to be making this much of an appearance, it just shows, further shows the times that we're in. You know? And they're part of those fearful sights from heaven. You know, it's not fearful to us because we know what they are. But to Esau, yeah, man. You know, the chariots are entering into the house of the thief, man. And who's that thief? You know, Yahweh Shah said, the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and to destroy. That's Esau. You know, but uh, I just wanted to, you know, bring these couple of scriptures out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I'm going to close out with that until the next one. I think.